Welcome to episode 2 of our information series, Basics of Electrostatics. With this information series, we want to share our know-how about electrostatics with you to make electrostatic applications safer. Next to me, Olav, he has prepared something again. I don't know what it is. Yes, Michael. In the last video, we have said we'd explain what this inclined plane and the plastic tubes is all about. By the way, if you missed the first episode, we link it up here. So, last time we found out that we can charge this PVC tube here with such a cotton towel and particles charged with the same load, they repel each other. That's why we can see, if I come close to the two styrofoam snippets with this charged plastic tube, then they repel each other, and you can see that as soon as they are charged the same way, they repel each other. One of them sticks to my tube, but they don't want to stick together anymore. The whole thing becomes clearer with this inclined plane. Therefore I take that out of the way really quick. So we have an inclined plane and three tubes. These are normal PVC tubes, and this is a normal household cotton towel. If I charge this PVC tube here, and place it on the inclined plane, it will roll down. Why not? Right. Now I take a second one, the second plastic tube, charge it the same way. Now I am curious. And because these plastic tubes are charged with the same load, they repel each other. And now we take a third one, which we put in between. And look, all three tubes repel each other. And the whole thing is based on the fact that the tubes are charged with the same load. Loads from the same polarity repel each other. And loads with opposite polarity attract each other, just like a magnet. By the way, a lot of nonsense was done with it in the past, but there was a lot of experimentation, and the first high-voltage generator or even portable high-voltage generator was invented by Otto von Gehrig. Unfortunately, he was not an ancestor of ours, but someone who has in any case already dealt with this topic very much. In 1663 he has made a sulfur ball on a wooden stick, and if you have rubbed it, or turned it on the palm of your hand, for example, then it has charged, and he could transport any particles from A to B. We had that in the last video, how they suddenly attracted each other. Loads from the same polarity repel each other, and loads with opposite polarity attract each other, just like a magnet. That's it for today, and in the next video, we'll explain how to discharge the plastic tubes here without touching them, and what a needle tip has to do with it. Okay, so we're all very excited for that. If you like the episode, then come back and subscribe to our channel. We'll continue the whole series basics of electrostatics, and that's it for today. See you next time.